Woodsman here out for a walk with my buddy today. We just took a break. I thought I'd sit down and show you guys my fire kit and what I carry all the time. Can we see all this? Always with me, I carry fat wood. Like the gasoline of the woods. Now this here is a flint and steel kit that I ordered from a place called At History's Door, I believe it's called. I'll check on that when I get home. But it's a fantastic kit. If you can zoom in on this, it comes with all of this stuff here. If you can pick this out. Uh, there's little slivers of fat wood. Uh, there's a beeswax candle nub in here. Uh, some sh cedar shavings and some nice pieces of chaga. And that all that all comes with it. I believe this kit was called the Deluxe Kit Number Three, if I remember correctly. And uh, this tin didn't come with the kit, but you can get extra ones. Uh, I use this for charring. And I, I just have a piece of uh, lamp wick in here with the end charred. Really nice kits. They uh, have like an antique, you know, hammered look to them. They're, they're really cool looking. Comes with a nice leather pouch. I believe it's, uh, el I want to say it's elk. But uh, this is, this like I said, I ordered separate. This is what actually comes with the kit. In here you have uh, tender kind of like jute twine. This one I already showed you has the fat wood and beeswax candle and stuff in it. This one here we have another piece of flint. Uh, there's some char cloth in here. Looks like some charred maybe cattail fluff. No, that's a that's like a cannon fuse there cannon wick. Uh, more chaga in this little tin. And this one is what I keep uh, my other pieces of flint in. And all of these pieces of flint that I'm showing you came with the kit. He gives you some really nice pieces. I keep more char cloth in here. Here's the uh, steel striker. If you zoom in on it, we might, I don't know, it's pretty bright out, but uh, it throws really, really good sparks. If the cam I mean, camera ought to pick that up. I mean, it's, it's, it's really throwing them. But yeah, it's, it's fantastic, fantastic kit. At History's Door, like I said, I'm pretty sure is the name of the place. Uh, this kit cost me, with everything you see, including this tin right here, about 50 bucks. Totally, totally worth it. It's really, uh, you know, old time looking, like uh, real woodsy looking. I like that. But uh, they, that's my, my flint and steel kit. Like I said, I always carry fat wood in here. Uh, an Altoids tin with a uh, Ranger band on it. I use this for charring too. This is what I keep like punk wood and stuff in. Punk wood, uh, cattail fluff, anything else, you know, that I char, I'll keep in here. Some more uh, jute material. This here, fantastic, fantastic piece of kit. You can pick this up from Walmart, the dollar store, anything like that. This is a lid to a, a candle for a bearing block, you know, on your on your bow drill, so I always carry that with me. A lighter. Uh, this is a, a, I believe it's called blast match. It's a, you know the, the ferro rod, and you just uh, let's see here, put it on something, push the button, and you know you get your sparks. A Dones bar, which I don't really use much, but I carry it. You can never have too many ways of starting a fire. More fat wood. And uh, this is my ferro rod. It is a behemoth. It's about six inches long. And I, I don't know how thick it is, but it's it's uh, about as big around as my pinky. About nine sixteenths. 
So sure, nine sixteenths will go with that. And it uh, it throws really good sparks. <laughs> and I don't think I would ever, I bought two of these, and I don't think I'll ever go through one in my lifetime because I prefer my favorite method is right there, flint and steel, I just love it. And that's about it. I, in this baggie, I used to have, uh, you know, the uh, cotton balls with Vaseline on them. But I have since used all those up. And I prefer when I do my fires to go more uh, <coughs> traditional ways like this. That's why I said I don't even hardly ever use the, uh, the ferro rod or the Dones bar or the blast match, which is a, a ferro rod anyway. But like I said, you can never have too many ways of starting a fire. But yeah, guys, that's my fire kit. That's what I carry into the woods with me every time I go out. This is just a bag I made out of an old wool blanket and some wool wool thread just sitting around watching TV one night, and I made a, a bag to, to carry all of this stuff together because before it was all loose and in different places, and I like to keep things, you know, compact and together. That way I know where everything is. But yeah, guys, that's my fire kit. I thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.